Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Backyard Golf Lessons. My name is Jess Frank. I am a PGA teaching professional here in South Florida at Deer Creek Golf Club in Deerfield Beach, Florida. And I uh, hope everyone is well. And I've been trying to do these Backyard Golf Lesson golf tips to get you guys prepared for when you go back to playing golf and restrictions are lifted, which uh, what I'm hearing is uh, hopefully soon. So it's looking promising and um, just wanted to uh, talk to you because a lot of your golf games are going to be in crisis mode when you go back to uh, playing golf and we don't want you, you we don't want your golf game to be in a crisis mode so hopefully you've been watching my backyard golf lessons and you've been taking these tips and going in the backyard and practicing whether in the backyard or the front yard garage or in the house um, hopefully uh, your golf game will not be in a crisis when you go back to the uh, golf course when we reopen hopefully soon so here is my tip for you today you know using your right arm for a right-handed golfer which is your trail arm is super important and I work on it a lot with my students so what I see a lot in in the golf game is that the not an understanding of how the right arm works and so this is super important okay so the right arm moves in two ways it can move up and down like a hammer or a, if you're a Seminole fan, or a karate chop, or it could move side, side to side like this here. So what we want, this is more of like a whale or a windshield wiper moving side to side. So we have it up and down like a hammer or side to side like a windshield wiper. And we don't want, we want a combination of those two. So we don't want a hammer and we don't want a windshield wiper. What we do want is we want a combination of both of them. So you can see how this works. So if I put the club in my hand and I go right in between, you can see that that arm is in a perfect position when we do that. So if I do it like this, so we don't want to we don't want to have a hammer and we don't want to have a side to side windshield wiper motion. We want to go from setup to right in between those two. So you can see that it's not here to the side and it's not a hammer. So it's not here, it's not a hammer, it's right in between, and that's gonna put our right arm in a perfect spot, okay? So if more of you did that and simplified your golf swing and stopped worrying about everything else, you guys would probably play better golf immediately and not be in crisis when you go back to the golf course. So if I put both hands on, I'm gonna go ahead and tilt this camera down, and thanks for everyone, thanks everyone for watching, I really appreciate it. I, I have a passion for the game, I love to teach golf, and uh, so I can't wait to get back and start helping people on the range. But right now, helping people uh, through social media is my plan here. And hopefully all you've got to know a lot of good value out of it too. So we're not gonna, we're not gonna hit the hammer and we're not gonna go windshield wiper. We're gonna go with a combination of both. And then watch this with both hands, boom, right here. Perfect on plane backswing, flat left wrist. Okay, butt of the club looking back towards the target line right arm into the side um, bent right wrist so a lot of good stuff right there right in the backswing so what that does is that makes you and gives you the ability to swing the club right back through the ball boom like that so it keeps it really simple so avoid your golf game being in crisis mode when you go back to playing because you're going to use the right arm uh, when you go back and you could use it right now. I mean you could do it if you're sitting in your living room You know, you don't want to hit with a hammer and you don't want to use a windshield wiper You want to go right in between those two So right in between those two is, is what we want because what that also does is you can see on the back swing how the shaft bisects the the uh, Right bicep here. It's not over our head and it's not underneath. I see way too many people way too many people i'm gonna go ahead and tilt this down a little bit more is that i see way too many people when they take the club back that club is laid flat like this so the only other way for you to go now is to lift it up and then go over the top so it goes flat up and over okay rarely do people bring it in and then keep it there and go back underneath so this is super important a great way for you to play golf is this understanding how the right arm works back works back here this way right in between the shoulder and the elbow it's never up over the head 
or underneath here. So you're not gonna bring the club up over this way or flat on the back swing. So this is the back swing that's happening that you don't wanna have and that's gonna lead to some really bad shots right away. So again, we're avoiding crisis when we return to the golf course by just understanding how the right arm moves for a right-handed golfer. You don't wanna hit it with a hammer and you don't wanna use a windshield wiper. You wanna go right in between those two. So if a face on, look, it's gonna be just like that. You can see that right there. So I have a, a, a bent right wrist, a flat left wrist. Um, the club face is in a phenomenal position. So the club face is really, because what happens when people start to turn that club face, when that club goes flat, that club face goes open. So you don't want that either because that's gonna promote more of a slice. You're gonna take the club over here, it's gonna be open, and then you gotta go over the top. And so when you go over the top, your path goes to the left, your face is open, toe shots, fat shots, inconsistent shots. But if you look at this little, this little motion right here, okay, right in between, boom, right there, and then back through, you can see now, look at where the club goes. It goes from here, flat left wrist, bent right wrist. Look at this perfect uh, right arm. Left arm is perfectly across my shoulders where all the best players, uh, where all the best players are at. All the best players take that left arm and go right across the shoulders. I see so many players that bring that left arm way too low and so many players that bring that arm way too high. And it's, it's not really your left arm that's doing it, it's your right arm, it's your right arm and understanding where that right arm goes. Boom, that right arm is paramount to getting you into the right position. And it's something that I think has been overlooked by a lot of players out there. I know a lot of golf professionals that talk about it, but, but players and golfers struggle to understand how the right arm works and and a lot of times it's because you know of a faulty grip or maybe something in your setup you know i see people pulling the club up this way so their club is really across the line or you know rarely do i see a golf club that's in a good spot at the top with it and you can see where the club face is too the club face is in an awesome spot that club face is really i know those trees are kind of blocking it in the back but that club face is in a really good spot so now as you come down, you don't have to turn the face at all either. So now you're avoiding that. So you're avoiding the inconsistency of trying to turn the face too much. So, so many, so a stable face, you know, less rate of what's called rate of closure, you know, is gonna help you hit the ball a lot more solid. So again, the right arm, we don't want it going in a hammer motion and we don't want it going in a windshield wiper motion. We want it right in between. And so if I show you back again, if I go right in between, on my way back, you can see that that shaft perfectly bisects my between my elbow and my shoulder here. Somewhere in there is good. I just don't wanna see it up here and don't wanna see it flat. And most people that I see that go flat come over the top. Most people that I see lift it straight up do not drop it back inside. So you can see some, there's some really good players on the tour that have been around for a long time that can lift their arms straight up. Their arms go straight up, but they do something that makes it fall back underneath. So Jim Furyk, Bruce Litsky, Hal Irwin, those guys had really, uh, uh, Callum Montgomery is a great example of that, where he's able to take his left arm up over his, way up over his, uh, up, up over his shoulders here. But he has enough, he does so many other good things of hip slide and dropping the club underneath. And plus he hits the ball, then the turf. You know, so there's so many good things that he does. But I would say for anybody that struggles with turning that club face back and opening it on the way back, understands the right arm. So the right arm, again, it's not gonna move like this. You're not gonna turn your palm up and go behind you flat like this here. That's, we don't want a windshield wiper and we don't want a hammer, okay? This windshield wiper, usually people that do the windshield wiper also open the face. So they take that club face and go like this, boom. And it's open, then you're dead, so forget about it. But if you wanna avoid crisis, let's do a combination. So we want a combination, so right in between there. So you can see how my, my right hand, so right here my right palm is kind of on an angle, okay? It's between my shoulder and my elbow here. It's really in a good spot, and I can turn back. So now here's my turn. Here's my right arm connected to my body, not lifted way off. I don't want that. I want it connected to my body because now 
I'm gonna be able to fire that club back through the ball. And it's gonna be really simple too, because all I'm gonna do as I fire that right arm and allow, I'm gonna let my body turn through as well. So you can see the Scots here. Boom, so now you can see the Scots, I'm tilted. I got some really good stuff going on with my hands and arms. So again, let's avoid crisis going back to the golf course here, hopefully within the week. I mean, that would be awesome if we could do it. I know a lot of people, there's a lot of the government, or the governments are meeting now. Hopefully they um, reopen the golf courses soon. So when we get back out there, avoid your golf game being in crisis. And I know that you guys who've been watching regularly are gonna go back to the course and play awesome from the golf tips that, that I've been sharing with you in these backyard golf lessons. But as far as um, a really good tip here of the right arm and understanding how it works, Again, we don't want to hammer. We don't want to hammer the club into the ground with the right arm. And we don't want the right arm going behind us like this in a windshield washer, windshield washer motion. We don't want that. We don't want hammer. We want something right in between. If we can get that club going right back in between, and notice again, my right arm's connected here. My right armpit is connected to my side. There's a lot of good power right there. You can see I can make a full turn. I just made a full turn. I'm not trying to keep my left arm straight. I'm not adding any tension. There's no tension in there. If I do that, if I, if I have my right hand and my right arm in a good spot, you can see it's in a 90 degree, uh, 90 degrees here. You can also see my right wrist is bent back. So I've got a lot of power right there. Thank you, Jeff. And I've got a lot of power right there. So I'm able to unload the right arm as well. But as I come back down into impact, you know, I see so many people come back down to impact and they throw the club out because they're not connected. There's no connection and they're not understanding how to get the power from the right arm. And this is something that's huge for pretty much every golfer. I mean, I'm saying right arm because I'm a right-handed golfer, you know, I'd be the left arm for a left-handed golfer. Um, so if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Please go ahead and share this uh, live stream with whoever you like, whoever um, you want to help and avoid their golf games going into crisis and, and avoid them uh, complaining to you. Uh, so I hope these tips help. Like I said, I'm a, my name's Jess Frank. I'm a PGA teaching professional. I've been teaching golf for over 20 years. I love it. I do it down here at Deer Creek Golf Club. It's a beautiful golf course. If you ever get a chance um, and you haven't played Deer Creek already, phenomenal golf course, 7,200 yards from the tips in amazing shape. They put so much work and effort. Uh, Ricky and his staff at um, Deer Creek Golf Club, they, they, um, they do an amazing job. The owner, Marty Martinez, phenomenal. Uh, puts, puts tons of money back into the course, makes it in f great condition. The driving range, practice area, uh, fairways, greens, bunkers are always in great shape. So definitely check that out when we reopen for sure. Um, so, you know, again, hopefully these tips are, are finding all you guys healthy and happy and you're able to work on them in your backyard. And like I said, please leave them uh, any comments, questions or comments about your golf game. I am still offering a free online golf lesson. So if you're interested, you can email it, me or golf swing at PGA pro at justfrankgolf.com. I'll be sure to get that back to you within a day or two. And, um, you know, hopefully we get back to playing. So one last time for you, avoid crisis when you return to the golf course with your golf game. Let's say our right arm, we do not want to hit with a hammer. We do not want a windshield wiper. We want something right in between. We want to get that club back, boom, right in between. Left arm across the shoulders, right arm connected to our body, right arm in a 90 degree angle here, right wrist in a 90 degree angle. So tons of power and leverage right there. No tension, but tons of power and leverage for us to turn our body back through and get that club returning in the back of the ball with a lot of speed and power and accuracy. So I hope this helps you. Again, please leave any comments or questions in the, in the uh, live stream below. I'll be sure to get back to you. And if you haven't had a chance, Again, my name is Jess Frank. I have the Jess Frank Golf Academy YouTube channel. So tons of great information and tips on how to improve your game. Um, if you're ready to work on your game also, you can always give me a call at 561-213-8579. We can get you booked in early here as uh, hopefully we reopen. So that'd be awesome. But again, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you soon. Take care.